Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson and welcome to another 3 minute thriller where we give you professional development in 3 minutes or less. In today's 3 minute thriller, we're going to learn how to effectively and efficiently provide feedback to students within a Google Doc. So let's get started. Now I wrote this paragraph a little bit ago. Let's just pretend that it's students work and, um, and I'm the teacher and the student shared it with me through Google Classroom. And I want to give the student feedback digitally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to where it says editing. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to turn it to suggesting. You can see it's green. I'm in suggesting mode right now. So now I'm going to go through this paragraph and I'm going to make some suggestions. In the book, Leading Impact Teams, maybe I want this to be indented right here, so I'll click the tab button and it says indent first line. All right, it just popped up, this comment popped up saying I need to indent the first line because I clicked the tab button when the cursor was right there. All right, so that's one right there. Um, the authors, we have two S's. I want to take this S out, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, and I'm going to hit the backspace button. Now you can see another uh, little comment comes up, and it says delete S, because that's what I did right here. Um, define teacher efficacy as the teacher's confidence in his or her ability to promote student learning. It's important teachers have a positive perception of their ability to foster student achievement, and this growth mindset comes from one's confidence achieving goals. Now, let's say I want to just change the sentence a bit. I want I want them to like maybe rewrite this part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. And so it's highlighted, and I'm going to start typing. Uh, and is only uh, done by teachers and students who have self-efficacy, period. All right. So now, if the student clicks the check mark right here when he or she looks at the stock later, they will accept the suggestion, it will delete what is crossed out, and will add in uh, this little part of the sentence that I typed. Um, setting goals is important, and it's performed by motivated teacher. Okay, so there's two things I want to do here. I want to take out this A, and I want to put an S right here. It's performed by motivated teachers, which means they have a growth mindset. Uh, according to leading impact teams, this is accomplished through, and then it gives a number of things. So, um, so that's it. That's how you can give suggestions to a Google Doc, and then students can come by later once they see this again, and they can accept those suggestions by clicking the check mark, or uh, they could be ignored. These suggestions could be ignored by clicking the X next to the check mark. Let me know if you have any questions.